So welcome back to the channel and welcome to the oldest city in the Netherlands, the town where I was born, Nijmegen. Um, and the funny thing is, I have never photographed in this city before. So uh, yeah, something totally different today. And hopefully we can get some of these really nice uh, old uh, buildings um, and, and nice lights. I'm going to do an evening shoot. So let's see uh, if we can get some surprising images from yeah, 10 minutes from my house. So it is the Netherlands of course, so when you're parking in the city at night then of course you have to pay for the parking costs. So please give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel and at least it will be worth uh, the effort here. So uh, let's head into the city, oh, let's put the parking uh, ticket in the car first before I get a fine. So uh, let's do that and then we're off into the city. So the city Nijmegen is almost, of almost, is more than 2,000 years old. It's built by the Roman Empire uh, back then. And uh, the, the strange thing is that there's not much left from that old period. And also these old houses, you know, during World War II, uh, the Allied forces, so the, the good guys, uh, let's say it like that, uh, they, bomb, they bombed this city by mistake. They actually wanted to uh, bomb a different city, but they, they bombed the, the wrong city and it destroyed uh, a big part of the old center of uh, the city, killing, uh, I think, more than 800 civilians uh, during that bombing. And I think it was one of the biggest bombings of World War II. And it was actually done by the friendly people on the wrong people. So uh, quite, a, quite a huge mistake uh, that was. But uh, yeah, there's not much left. So even for me, uh, living here, growing up here, uh, it's going to be quite a struggle to find those nice shots. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's have a look. Uh, you can see in the far distance there, uh, not the first bridge, but the one behind it. That's the one that I uh, photographed uh, about two months ago, three months ago. I don't know exactly, um, but uh, that that's the bridge I photographed then. And on the other side, a pretty important bridge, the, the Waalbrug, uh, very uh, yeah famous. Uh, if you if you look at Nijmegen, the first thing you see is that bridge. But we're not going to photograph that today. I think it's not that photogenic. But we're going into the old uh, city center and see if we can find those old uh, streets with old buildings uh, with some lights on uh, when the when the sun is going down. Hopefully, we will get uh, we will get some nice images there. So while I was editing this video, I did some digging on the bombing uh, on my city. And uh, just to show you a little history about why there are not much uh, of these old houses left. Uh, this is the, uh, the map of the city center here. And you can see that all the red buildings here uh, were completely destroyed after the bombing. So the central station, uh, the complete city center, uh, there was nothing left. And the, uh, the red stripes, uh, they were heavily damaged uh, area. So there's almost nothing left of the old city Nijmegen and it actually says down here that there were 2200 civilians killed, 13,000 houses destroyed, 7 churches, 60 streets. So uh, it was an absolute giant mistake by the Allied forces. They actually wanted to bomb a city in Germany, but uh, yeah, they call it a bridge too far uh, as far as I uh, remember. So you can see it on these uh, old images that I found that uh, yeah, the whole city was completely destroyed and a lot of these images I've never seen for myself and I can't even recognize the, the city that I live in today from uh, these images. And there are a couple of images like this church here, they rebuilt this one and you will see it later um, during this video that I'm walking uh, around that church. Um, here also there's almost nothing left and I can't even imagine that living in a, uh, a city without any uh, uh, war in, in my life here in this area. So you can see on this sign there is a route through the city if you're ever in uh, the city. Uh, you can walk around all these tiles like the Rose Line in uh, Paris. We have this fire line which you can see um, they, they marked the area which was completely burned off after the war, uh, after the bombing. And if you look at the map today 
uh, you can see that I'm going to concentrate on this area here because there are some old houses left in this area. So this is the first shot that I'm actually interested in. And this is where I was yesterday and it got, which got me the inspiration to make this video. On the left here is a little church and yesterday I joined a masterclass here in this church by P. Arndt, a Dutch uh, famous photographer and founder of uh, Prints for Wildlife. And uh, yeah, with that campaign, he is uh, funding a lot of uh, money for African wildlife. So very important. I'll put a link in the description down here. Um, if you don't know him, look at his website. He's doing some really amazing stuff. And uh, even for me, very inspirational. But when I walked out, I noticed this view here of this building on the right, it's very old with the church in the background. Uh, the tower coming up and then this old building on the left but right now you can see there is a service inside of the church uh, going on right now and there are a couple of bicycles here the lights are still off here on the side so I'm gonna wait until the service is over hopefully those people inside will take these bicycles and later tonight these lights will be on so uh, that's what I'm actually hoping for So this is going to be the first shot of the day. I'm going to take a portrait shot here. No idea if this is going to work. I don't have much experience with cities, but a little experimenting. You can see here, there is a stairs running up. And there's just a street light on top of that stairs. And all the way up there, you can see the tower of the big church. So I'm trying to do this as a leading line with the stairs leading up. And then the tower above this building. Just these buildings on the right. They aren't that interesting, not, not that old images, but still I like the shot. So first image, but uh, I might have to take this later tonight when it's going to be dark because the sky is a little bit too bright and because of that you can't see the tower that good. So maybe I'll get back here and take it again uh, when the sun has set. So uh, let's continue. So this is the uh, second image that I'm shooting and you can see that it's already turning dark uh, at the moment. And um, it's a beautiful street that I've actually never walked before. So I've lived in the city my whole life and never seen this scene before. So let me try to show you on the back of the camera what I'm photographing at the moment. So you can see I'm using all these things here in the side of the image. Uh, there's a chimney up there that I uh, got into the frame. And what I like most is that the side of the church here has the same shape as the house that's standing in the back. It's probably difficult to see right now, but I think uh, the result is going to be really nice. I took it with the 7 to 14 millimeter, so a very wide angle, and I'm going to uh, make it an uh, um, HDR image. So I'm taking about 10 images, uh, putting the exposure compensation down on every shot. So I got about 8, 9, 10 shots that I'm going to stack together in Lightroom, hopefully to create one uh, very good uh, image so uh, if this is going to work out first shot from the city that's really took in the dark so right now i'm photographing the Next photo, I just walked through that lane that I uh, photographed in the last image and from this side it's actually also very photogenic so uh, it's a little bit difficult to film myself in the dark so it's the first time that I'm uh, doing some night <laughs> photography here so uh, uh, I hope this is a good quality to watch uh, the video but uh, I'm going to try to show you on the back of the screen the image that I'm uh, trying to photograph here. So this is the next shot and I'm using this uh, ditch in the road here as a leading line into that lane and I try to keep this door on the right straight next to the frame. So this is the start and those buildings in the back they uh, are a little bit uh, diagonal or strange shaped due to the 7 mm. So I'm shooting at 7 mm here but hopefully that will be okay in post processing or maybe I leave it like this. I don't think it's, uh, it's very bad. 
So once again, I'm making a stack of images. So I'm taking about uh, 10 images. Every time I step lower in the image uh, uh, composition, I know I can make a bracket or everything, but I just like to do it handheld. Uh, pretty stupid. And this way, uh, what just happened, a woman on a bicycle uh, drove by. So I had to take that shot again. If I would take a bracket, I would mean uh, have to search which frame it was again and again. So now I could immediately erase that shot, take a new one. So that's why I prefer to do it like this. So I hope this shot is going to work out. A uh, little bit worried about those weird angles in the shot, but I think it's, I think it's going to work out fine. So uh, yeah, this is the, the next shot and uh, yeah, pretty excited about this one. So I'm photographing another shot here and I'm actually looking in this direction. There are a couple of, that's a shame. <laughs> I just took the image. I think I got 15 shots uh, going down just like the other shots, but they just turned off the lights in this store here, which makes the shot much less attractive. So I hope this shot is going to work. So I have this window here on the left with lights on and then this light bulb here. Uh, which is blowing a little bit in the wind. So I hope that's going to be all right. And then this nice old building in the background with a bit of a terrace here with some candles on it. So hopefully this is going to work. Uh, yeah, let's see. I can't do it again. Uh, the, <laughs> the lights are off. So uh, this is a one shot uh, 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 image. So uh, yeah, hopefully it works. This is the shot. So I'm back at the church where I was uh, at first, which was a little bit early because it wasn't dark enough uh, for my opinion. And just look at this shot now. You can see through this alley here with those two lights here on the right side and then the top of the church in the background there, just right in the middle of that uh, alley. And I'm doing the same thing again. I'm shooting in that F11 to get everything in focus. Uh, focusing somewhere here in the front on this church on the left side here um, and then I'm taking a, starting at a 30 second exposure and I'm putting it one stop down every time uh, until I have an almost black uh, shot and why am I doing that uh, those lights are pretty dominant in the frame but when I stack them together uh, they won't be as dominant as they are uh, right now um, you can look in them something like that so you will see it in the result the only thing that i'm a little bit concerned about in this shot is that there is a little bit of flare in that uh, second light there coming into the the ball shape here of my seven millimeter so that's a little bit of a concern i hope i can solve that in post processing but uh, i have no idea yet but uh, yeah i hope this shot is going to work I think it is. I've got about eight shots right now, and I think I need a lot more than this. So uh, we'll see what I can uh, what I can do. So I'm going to continue like this, and uh, you will see the result right now.
So this is probably going to be the last shot of the evening. Uh, I walked a little bit past the little church that I was earlier. And this scene is, uh, this white house here is the old orphanage. And you can see the tower of the church behind it. So I'm trying to photograph this uh, blossom tree here on the left with those lights, the church coming above it. it looks really awesome. So hopefully uh, this will work out. Uh, I think it looks nice. So let me show you on this side. So you got the blossom tree here, the lights and the church straight between those two buildings. So I'm using the exact same technique and hopefully uh, this is going to work. There's a little bit of wind. So every now and then those, those blossoms on those trees are moving a little bit. So hopefully it will be fine. We will see after all and you can be the judge if this uh, shot worked or not. So uh, hopefully this is going to work. So this is the end of uh, today's video. I hope you like this uh, trip through my uh, hometown, uh, the city of Nijmegen. There's actually a beautiful building here in the harbor also, but there are two enormous boats here in front blocking the view on this uh, beautiful building. So this is a shot for another time. Uh, at least I enjoyed myself, found a couple of nice old buildings uh, this time. And uh, yeah, who knows, uh, I can do it again and search for some, some more other buildings uh, somehow. So uh, yeah. Happy I did this shoot. I hope you liked the video. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think about uh, the images or uh, this subject or whatever. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please push that thumbs up button. You will massively help this channel. And there is a subscribe button underneath the video uh, somewhere here. Uh, if you push it, you will get a message when I release uh, my next video. Usually it's about landscape slash nature photography, but I've decided to shake things up a little bit every now and then too. Uh, yeah do some new stuff and test myself and just keep photography fun you know uh, that's what it's supposed to be fun and not about one subject because the channel is about landscape photography so thanks for watching hope to see you i'm going to bed bye bye